Amazon.com says that demand for its in-home services has grown by 20% per month. That's according to a Reuters report. But how important is this business division to Amazon as a whole? Joining us now to talk all about it is Joan Salzman. She's the business and technology editor at The Wrap. So Joan, I don't associate Amazon with home services, but Amazon Home Services, what it does is really connect shoppers with professional services like installation, cleaning, professional type services. How would you say that these types of services facilitated by Amazon impact companies, say like a TaskRabbit or an Angie's List or some other type of re reference provider? Well, certainly when any sector has Amazon coming into it and succeeding, that should be wor worrisome to the people that are already there. Just ask Borders booksellers. The things that work in the company's favor when you're talking about a TaskRabbit or an Angie's List is that those are young tech savvy companies too. So unlike a bookseller in the first tech boom, those companies are more prepared to take on the kind of competition that Amazon might bring. All right, so let's talk about the depth of competition right now, right? Because these services right now are limited to about 30 metro areas, at least for right now for Amazon. So how important is it for Amazon to expand these services to other parts of the country, or is it enough just to be in, say, those 30 to 50 biggest metro areas in the US? With Amazon focusing on those big metro areas now, it's a game plan that they've used before. They like to focus, especially with these experimental business lines, they like to focus on a big metro area where they can really get a pulse for how much demand there is for this service before they spread it out widely to any customer around the country. So as we talk about this idea that services, I mean, obviously everybody uses these things, but do you think it impacts Amazon as a whole from a brand perspective? I mean, these services seem like perhaps a bit of a departure from the company's bigger focus, which is, uh, again, on selling stuff, products and whatnot to customers, getting there fast, Amazon Prime, even perhaps some of the media side of things. So is professional services really part of the Amazon DNA going forward? Amazon has proven time and again that it's the only company, it's the only group that really knows what its DNA is. It's moved into outlandish business lines, sometimes with great success and sometimes with failure. For example, when it launched its first iPhone, I'm sorry, it launched its first smartphone <laughs> in 2014, it couldn't go up against the iPhone. It was a big flop. But it also has moved into business lines like cloud computing. That's been a gigantic business for the company. So. It doesn't hurt its brand to move into these businesses that seem like they're out of left field. It only hurts its brand when it fails. All right, so it sounds like Amazon's got a little bit of runway to see if it can make this Amazon Home Services work, but we'll have to see whether or not it ends up being a success down the line. Thank you so much, Joan Salzman. That's Joan Salzman. She's the tech and business editor for The Wrap. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.